Hudson and Island author is writing books to tackle sensitive issues that can be hard to talk about with kids. They're so highly regarded, she's been named to a must-read list by the New York Public Library. Rural reporter Amanda Farinacci has the story. Danette Vigilante says she feels right at home at the library. It's where the 51-year-old Staten Island resident says she first fell in love with books and decided that one day she would write one, too. When I was a kid growing up, a little boy moved into my building, and he'd come up to um, our neighbors, you know, every neighbor in the, in the building asking for food, and he was five years old. So, you know, I was a child myself, but it broke my heart, and that was a story that was within me. And so when I sat to write, that was what came out. That story is the basis for Vigilante's first book, The Trouble with Half a Moon. Published in 2011, the story addresses sensitive topics like abuse and neglect and what it's really like to grow up in a city. Her second book, Saving Baby Doe, tells the tale of two 12-year-old kids who find an abandoned baby and struggle with how to care for it. The characters are both Latino like her. When I was a child, I didn't see many or any books that had um, on Puerto Rican, so I didn't see any Latino books. Mm -hmm. And yes, that's sad in itself, but what's even worse is that I didn't expect to see someone in a book that looked like me, my friends, or my family. Despite no college education or formal writing training at all, Vigilante's books have won acclaim. Saving Baby Doe was recently added to the New York Public Library's annual list of 100 books for reading and sharing. A panel of judges read more than a thousand books before selecting the winners. They say Vigilante's book was a no-brainer because it fills a literary void in books for young readers. We have a really hard time finding contemporary present-day books about kids today living in New York City that aren't white. Vigilante is currently working on her third book, that one also focusing on social issues and also aimed at young adults. On Staten Island, Amanda Farinacci, New York One.